A journey through a century of art, from the 20s to present day, the Salford Museum and Gallery hosted an exhibition of their diverse collections from the last hundred years. This is a launch event tonight for this exhibition. Um, what we've got is 100 years of collecting. So Salford Museum started collecting well, over 100 years ago, and they sort of stopped collecting uh, about 50 years ago, which was actually when we started collecting. So you've got a range of works from like quite historic, what you might think of quite traditional painting, drawing, all the way through to like really contemporary works. We've got digital videos, we've got all sorts. What we've tried to do is do an overview of the past 100 years. So um, we've tried to reflect the different interests over, we've separated it into decades. We collect under three different policies, which is work from the North. We think it's really important to support artists who are living and working in the North now. And that includes um, our students as well as artists living in the region. Uh, we collect Chinese contemporary art, which might seem like a bit of an odd one, but the Chinese art market is actually the biggest in the world. So there's loads of really important and really exciting work coming out of that. And we also collect work uh, under a strand called About the Digital. So as we're living in an increasingly digital age, it's really important that we reflect that in our collection. Um, we've got a video piece by Chris Paul Daniels and Sam Meach, and they made it around uh, Media City and Salford Keys. And we've also got a painting by an artist called Mandy Payne. Uh, she's based in Sheffield, but she's been doing some work in Salford, and she's really inspired by the change in landscape, so all that architecture that's coming up. She's really inspired, and so she made the work specifically in response to Salford. Paul Dennett, Salford's mayor, was eager to express his support, claiming it brought a new insight into local contemporary art. He said that arts and culture sits at the forefront of Salford's new and developing image. Some of the young artists were on hand to see their work exhibited alongside other well-known artists. I do a lot of landscape artwork, so I wanted to bring that into this print as much as I could. So my work's based on the English Delta wear plates over in the corner. So I wanted to bring that reflection in on it as well. So I decided to design it in circular shapes. So the images in the centre are of some photographs I've taken of uh, landscapes that I like to visit frequently. Acquired, a century of collecting will continue until June this year, as the museum and university work together to save pieces of work from the north and the world. Who knows, we may be set for another exhibition in the next century. James Holt, Salford Now.